In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can integrate sinh of x. And our first step in the integration is to think about how we can express sinh in a different form that's going to be easier to work with. So we can actually express any hyperbolic trig function in terms of exponentials. So we can redefine our sinh function as e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2. So instead of doing just the integral of sine checks, which we don't know, we can do the integration of this exponential form. The next thing that you need to realize is that this 2 could be taken out as a factor of a half. So we can take that out of the integration. And we could actually split this numerator and do two separate integrations. So we can actually do it like this. So all I've done is take the 2 out and then split the numerator into 2. This integral here is going to be very straightforward because the integral of e to the x is simply e to the x. And so we're actually just going to worry about how to do this integration. So I'm going to replace this with e to the x. So that one's done. And then we're going to think about this second integration here. This one isn't immediately straightforward unless you know how to do this. So what you would do is you would do a u substitution. So we're going to replace the minus x with u. So we're going to say u equals minus x. We find the derivative du dx is minus 1. And that means that dx is minus du when we rearrange this. So rearrange this and you get that. So we've now got that this bit here can be replaced with our u. And then dx can be replaced with minus du. And when we do that, so we're just worrying about this integral here, the integral of e to the minus x, we're going to replace minus x with u. And then dx is going to be replaced with minus du. And that's why we get a minus there. And we remember that the integral of e to the x is e to the x. So likewise, the integral of e to the u is going to be e to the u plus our constant of integration. We don't want u, so we're going to replace u with minus x. And so we have now worked out the integral of our e to the minus x. So if we come across here, we can actually rewrite this. So we've got this unchanged. We're substituting here into here. So this minus is going to change into a plus because we've got minus minus coming from this minus here. And we've still got the, the half out. And we have our constant of integration on the end. We can reattach this together. So we're going to take our numerator, put that back together, and we're dividing it by 2. And we get this expression here. We need to recall that, in fact, our cosh function is simply defined as this. So we can replace all of this with cosh x. And so, in fact, our sinh of x, our hyperbolic sine function, is actually our hyperbolic cosine or our cosh function plus c. And that is how you do the integration. I hope this video was helpful to you and thank you very much for watching.